neuroplasticity. Again, busting this myth that the brain is somehow fixed. Not only that the brain evolves into the adolescent brain from childhood, but that the brain is changing all the way through to the end of our lives. There's plenty of research evidence on that. Evidence that includes some of the research that I've just cited there around studying deaf and blind people are people stroke victims where you're uh, constraining the better side, um, doing some long longitudinal studies around uh, you know, children from three to nine years and so on. But the key here perhaps is that last bullet. And how does the brain change? Under what circumstances? What are the forcing functions? And you find that external experiences can change the brain, and then internal activity, mindful activity, thoughts, intentions. And so when Dr. Mate listed all kinds of challenges with childhood trauma leading to chronic conditions, the hope, perhaps, is in practices that take advantage of this principle of neuroplasticity, as well as neurogenesis. New structures, new cells, new connections, literally, making true this little adage that neurons, brain cells, that fire together, wire together. 